gotta be the man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cut this shot! Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels podcast. We're li- recording this really fucking late. <laughs> is it late? I don't even know what time it's, it is. It's uh, 1.39. 1.30? Jesus. Good thing it's a Saturday. It is Saturday. If it was Sunday, we would have been done like three hours ago. If it was Sunday, I'd be pissed. <laughs> That's okay, because we are... Are we going to announce it? Are we going to do it? Yeah, we're going to do it. k Fake Kaiju! It's coming back! Because you've heard it before. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, that's right. <laughs> Why did I say it's coming back? It's because we recorded an episode already. And that never it released. Never ever released. And we even called it the KO podcast for some fucking reason. Yeah, I think we just used KO for a filler. So we didn't know. I guess. I don't remember why we called it that. We recorded it February 2015, right? Yeah. I think yeah. the 11th or something. But yeah, the 11th. I don't think we were... Like, I think I may have said Kayfabe Kaiju... But we weren't, like, sure on it. Yeah, I think you made a logo, and I was like, well, fuck, I guess we're called this now. Because I do that. <laughs> yeah. I'll come up with something, and I'll make a logo. I'm like, well, I already got the logo. Like, so. I made a logo on a website, and they trademarked it, and I... <laughs> That's what I did for the drone racing group. Right. I was just like, I'm going to make them a logo. We'll talk about that on the podcast, because that's going to be nerdy shit and technology and other stuff we care about. Yeah, it's just going to be... It's like us. And if there's nerdy wrestling stuff, like, uh... Zack Ryder being in a Ghostbusters documentary or Xavier Woods hosting Kind of Funny Life 3. We'll talk about that. Yeah. We'll keep it kayfabe. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll talk about kaijus. We are the kayfabe kaiju. So. We're also the future heels. We are. We're the future heels with Brooks, though, who's not here this week. No. We, we said he would be, but he's he not. He alluded to being here next week. Okay. I think that's what you said last week. I don't think I've ever used the word alluding. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he alludes to anything. He's not a Game of Thrones character, which is a thing we could talk about on the Kayfabe Kaiju, but we won't because I fall asleep during that show. Or I'll you talk and Jess about can it. talk about it. There. Oh, we talk for days on that. Oh, boy. There we go. This is a new podcast. Think of a new name. <laughs> oh, no. Few true Lannisters. No. Few true Targaryens. Duh. I actually know that that's a thing. There are a few. Yeah. Actually. Not just the one. That's right. I know that because I, cause I watch podcasts to talk about it. Yeah. Let's get off of that t- subject. Actually, when I found out about the, the second one, the one that no one seems to care about. Jon Snow. That's not even the one I'm talking about. Oh, right? shit. Okay. I just spoiled Game of Thrones because I gave no fucks. Um, no, one of the Night's Watchmen. Their maester, I think. He was a Targaryen I think this whole it, time. Oh, I think it's uh, Warshak. No? No. He's one of the Watchmen. No, wrong, wrong watchers. Um, oh, okay. So who wrestling... Who watches the Watchmen? The Night's Watchmen, apparently. Ah. So, back to wrestling. You can we, find out more about that on the Cave Ape Kaiju podcast. That's right, there's a little snip for you. A little... little a little bit. Teaser. A little teaser. We teased you. I kinky kaijus, that was the other no. day. <laughs> oh, God. Gay fake kaiju, one letter away from being on a list. <laughs> it's so much. Oh, my Still God. Still probably going to get on that list. Oh, my God. That's the funniest thing I think I've ever said. I think I'm on a list. Oh, I probably am. Speaking of being on a list, uh, Dolph Ziggler is apparently on a list to be. <laughs> you just made the list. <laughs> oh, shit. No, shit. Yeah. There you go. Jericho's back as well. We'll talk about that. Speaking of which, I kind of... I talked about that last podcast. I kind of really want the Chris Jericho GameStop exclusive figure. Okay. It looks pretty freaking cool. Does it come with a list? It comes with a list, and oh if you my turn God. it over, like, it's the list on the back of the box. Holy crap. Like, I said I'm not going to leave any figure, any wrestling figure in the box. I yeah. think I would leave that one, because it's pretty freaking cool. I, I think it'd be cool if there were empty spaces so you could add people. Oh, that'd be cool. You just made the list! That's fucking great. So, Dolph Ziggler is on a list to get repackaged. That's why he good. hasn't been on TV. Alright, good. He's been doing that weird, like, he's got American stuff and, like, denim, I think. But he's a bad guy. But he's, like, going for the American 
face thing. Like, it's been really weird. Since I've been re-following, I've not, never really been clear on Ziggler's gimmick. His gimmick is that he's a show-off. He's Shawn Michaels, basically. Like I, a, that's his gimmick. Like a D-grade Shawn Michaels? I guess. I mean, I get the sorry, I'm not sorry, or whatever it is. Or Was that a thing? It's too damn bad, I'm too damn good, or whatever it is. Oh, his oh, yeah. Phrase. His t-shirt, I can't remember. I mean, cool. But I don't know. I'm, it's never been very clear. Too bad I'm so good or something? I think that's what it was. I can't remember what it, it's apparently not a good slogan. No, because I can't remember. It's it. not as good as one letter away from being on a list. No. That's uh, pretty good. <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, and he was Nikki, I think, in uh, the, the Spirit Squad. Right. Nikki! Yeah, because his name is Nick Nemeth. And I saw him as Dolph Ziggler... And, I say this every time. Yeah. In FCW. Right. And But he had, like, a frat boy gimmick with Heath Slater. Okay. Like, that's like that's a gimmick you can grab onto and, like, remember. Yeah. Like, Dolph Ziggler, like, I know he's decent in the ring. He's very good in the ring. Like, he's pretty good on the mic. Like, that's all that really comes to mind. Yeah. And, like, yeah, I've seen him on the mic. He doesn't, he's not bad. So, he, but he's also not great, so he's not very memorable on the mic. They tried doing what ended up succeeding with Daniel Bryan with him first. With the whole, like, kind of burying him and then making him champion. and uh, Didn't really bring in the numbers, though. I mean, yeah. Um, Daniel Bryan's got more than a cult following. So, yeah, uh, he's... I've been a follower for a long time. Right. So, yeah, that's pretty much not known if he's going to get a completely new gimmick or modifications to his character. I feel like he's been on TV as Dolph Ziggler since, like, 2008 or 2009. So it'd be really hard to completely yeah. repackage him. Yeah. People know he's, like, he's a former world champion. How do you repackage that? Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's, like, evolutions of, like, you know, like, Triple H went from the game to Cerebral Assassin. Like, he added things. Right. Which I think Dolph needs, like, a major addition. Like, the way, like, Randy Orton did the Legend Killer. Right. He needs something major. You could still even do a big overhaul and just let it... You know, you can't he's still f- Dolph Ziggler, but, like, right. The Undertaker. Like, he went from the dead man to the American Bat. Only The Undertaker could pull something like that. Yeah, also. I'm not saying Dolph Ziggler could. But I'm just Kane went from the demon to the corporate Kane. To... Made in Tennessee. That's, no, he didn't. That didn't work. No, <laughs> no, he didn't win. Nope. Oh. Too bad. Sorry. Um, I think the thing I was I was trying to think of something earlier. Who's something, or who's someone on the roster you would like to see repackaged and how? Ooh, how? Yeah. I'd like to see a lot of them redone. Yeah. Like, cause I'm really not. I'm not really thrilled with a lot of characters right now. I feel like the Ascension need it. The Ascension need to be that that whatever that is that people think of those two guys as needs to be destroyed and forgotten and because they're incredible. Right. They were incredible in NXT. We saw them live. We've seen them on the pay-per-views. They're awesome. Yeah. They're terrible on the main roster. They don't even need to be repackaged. They just need to be... Something needs to happen with them. Take it off air for a little bit and bring them back and let them have a, a run. Yeah. Have they, they haven't had a run yet. No. And there's... And the fucking Usos have. And that's not their fault. No. Like, their characters are... Maybe give them more mic time? I think they needed more time in NXT. Because they had, like, cool characters, and they were good wrestlers. They need another layer. Yeah. Um, maybe a manager. Yeah. Like a Paul Bear. Something. Not exactly Paul Bear, but, like, that right. vein of... Something weird. Yeah, something not... Um, oh, my God. What was that, that faction that Hulk Hogan fought with? 
that were like demons. demons? Uh, yeah, they're all like real creepy and shit. Uh, my God. Tell me, Internet. I know you're, you're tweeting at me at Best in the Realm right now. Um, you're not talking about the oddities, are you? Kevin Sullivan. That's who they need. Kevin Sullivan was the Taskmaster, the Dungeon of Doom. Oh, okay. I just wasn't thinking back far enough. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, yeah, Fighting Hulkamania. He had a bunch of fucking weird people. Really? On Wikipedia? You're not even going to tell me who... Oh, here we go. Uh, Kamala, Big Van Vader, the Jerfine, uh, <laughs> Big Bubba, Braun the Leprechaun, Max with two X's, the Zodiac, the Barbarian? Did we just see that figure earlier? We did! Holy shit! <laughs> the, uh, the Lance funny. action figure. Yeah. That's the guy that was gonna be on the podcast one oh, day. Oh, who was that other guy? Who, uh, who, mess who messaged? Who managed Abyss? The Spanish guy? No. Oh, wait a minute. I'm thinking of Umaga. Oh, 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 fuck. What was his name? Uh, I don't know. That's a TNA thing. Yeah. James Mitchell. Yes. Holy shit, you're right. They need James Mitchell. Damn it, he's back in fucking TNA apparently. Don't you mean Global Force Wrestling? No. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, uh, Mitchell made his turn. He was seen giving Joseph Park his Abyss mask. So Abyss is back. That's, well, that's cool. Because Abyss is awesome. You know, I have Best of Abyss, the TNA DVD, the first one that came out. I think I was born in Orlando. Oh, really? Cool. That's not surprising. Uh, but I have, it's Doomsday, Best of Abyss. I think it was the first one that came out for TNA. Yeah. And, um,. If I'm not mistaken, I believe he loses every match on there. Really? I think so. He loses, if not all of them, most of them. Huh. Keep talking. I gotta do something. Okay. So. Good job. Yeah, I know. I was just, I'm, <laughs> so I'm yeah, James Mitchell that. with the Ascension was yeah. fucking awesome. And then bring in Abyss. Oh. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, man. Oh, man. Then they can take on the New Day three on three. Who care? That would be interesting. Yes. Or um, God, as much as I don't like him right now, the guy who manages Authors of Pain. Yeah, but he's already got them. Yeah. I mean, so but do you make a stable with those four guys? No, fuck Authors of Pain. They're boring. They're getting better. Yeah, but they're still gonna be boring. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm starting to take a shine to them. No. No? No. Maybe a little bit? No. I almost said yes. Uh, not enough. Not enough to say yes. Oh, do you have a, uh, by the way, speaking of them, uh, do you have a story about uh, Johnny Gargano? And his do tweet? I have a story? Yeah, because you had you, I know you had stuff ready for the show. No, he, I don't. Oh, his tweet he put out. No, you didn't see it that he was uh, wrestling his last match in Sacramento. Okay. His last professional wrestling match in Sacramento. That's weird. In his twenties, because Monday's his birthday or something like that. <laughs> it was like the big. What? Yeah, his Are you brought this up? So fucking explain. You're confusing me. Yeah, his tweet was like, let me see if I can find it. But it was it was like the biggest troll tweet. Uh, gonna Google it to make sure I get the exact verbiage. Okay. Yeah, make sure you do that because that that's very confusing even to me. There we go. Johnny Gargano tweet. Big announcement. Tonight, hashtag NXT Sacramento will be my last professional wrestling match. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. In my 20s because Monday is my birthday. Wow. The first time I saw it, I was like, really? Came back just to, just to end it? 
real quick? And that's where he's going to end it? Okay. But then I saw it was the rest of it, and I was like, all right, this is done. So I just tweeted, hey, at WWE, the hashtag Future Heels podcast has figured out how to fix hashtag the Ascension. Bring in at said minister, which is James Mitchell's. Yes. Let's make that happen, people. Go fucking retweet and like that. Oh, uh, could you imagine? He, he does that fireball trick. Does he? Yeah. I think, he, I, think I saw him do it to Raven. When I'm pretty sure Raven and Abyss were feuding. Right. Quote tweeting it at Connor and Victor. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I want that now. Oh, God, right. that, is, I, that image of them. Yeah. Oh, him, man. Or Gangrel. Gangrel would be a good manager. Yeah? I don't... You know, he, yeah, he was good on the mic. I don't remember, honestly. Because Edge and Christian were always very quiet. They were quiet for most of their, like, beginning career. Oh, okay. And that changed. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, to a major way. You can never cr- shut Christian the fuck up. No. What He's probably he? still talking. Him and Randy Orton were on something recently. Maybe Christian was on Raw or something, and Randy was like, one last match. Oh. oh, man. Did you ever watch their matches? I don't They're think good. so. I'm sure I did. But Dude, I Christian know. as a top guy is so good. Christian's time in TNA as Cage is awesome. I was just about to bring that up. That very, was, very good. TNA was pretty good then. Yes, it was. That's when it was decent. Yeah. Uh, and yet, you know what? Speaking of TNA, we're going to bring that up. Apparently, uh, Stockton Con had to announce that John Morrison was unable to attend due to a contractual agreement with GFW Impact Wrestling. Now, that basically means he signed a contract with them and they said, no, you can't go to this little convention in Stockton, California. Really? So, do you know how their contracts work? No. Um, basically, they are allowed to do indie bookings, but they, but TNA, GFW, whatever, takes 10% and 100% of merchandise. Let me really? fact check this. Well, it might be different now that it's Global Force Wrestling. No, that is the Global Force Wrestling thing. Oh. Well, son of a bitch. Yeah. And, uh... I think Young Bucks were talking about it. Oh, they my God. Which was like, yeah, you can fuck off. We make a lot. Yeah, I can... Oh, man. You can't do that to the elite. Okay. Uh, possibly because Observer says their new contracts give the company 10% of the money the performer makes on independent bookings and 100% of any merchandise sold with their likeness. Holy shit! That's bullshit. That's fucking nuts! That makes me never want to buy a TNA t-shirt, action figure, anything ever again. Uh, the, these guys, this is CagesideSeats.com, they said to make it clear, we don't know that this is true, uh, there's certainly one person who doesn't approve, and Matt Hardy said it's true, unprecedented levels of bad business. Okay. So, Matt says it's true. Um, okay, I mean, it can still be full of shit. Right, but... It's GFW. So, yeah. it wouldn't surprise me. That's, that's fucking awful, though. That is pretty bad. Unless they're paying them a butt ton of money. Right. Which are not. WWE gives their guys fucking merch, too. Like I would imagine, yeah, they do. They, uh, people have talked about it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a certain level you do. Right. I don't know. But also, WWE pays their, all their guys pretty well. Right. I mean, even the guys like the NXT guys that are like, yeah, I don't make much money. Like if you ever see them in a documentary, they live in a nice apartment. Right. And they're living their dream job, so they don't. They don't, don't make them play. Really matter. Yeah. Um. Like, well, like, Zack Ryder's probably a good example of that because of his YouTube series. He has a nice place. He's not struggling. But they also, I don't know, like, they, I think they also don't pay their gas in their hotels. I think sometimes they do, and it's whatever. Yeah, I'm sure they make a living wage at least. Oh, definitely. So. Yeah, I'm sure WB treats their guys really well. Otherwise, people wouldn't work for them. Right. I mean, some would, but... 
So yeah, uh, and as usual, like, fuck, yeah, fuck that owl. Yeah. Is there still an owl? I don't know. Don't really care. Fuck that globe. Fuck that globe. I'll fuck the globe. <laughs> Global fucking wrestling. That's what GFW stands for. <laughs> There's a W in there somewhere. Is glad we're fucking wrestling. <laughs> they are fucking the industry. They're screwing everybody. Thank God we have companies like WWE. Wow, I can't believe I'm saying that. He used to be the bad guys. But yeah. ROH and PWG and Evolve and Dragon Gate and New Japan and because, God, if it was WWE and DFW, that would not be good. Not good at all. Can we just let that company die? No. It's just bad. You've got you've to gotta have the bad with the good. Got to have a bad guy for every good guy? Yeah. Every club needs a villain. Man. No. <laughs> no. We can let them die. <laughs> let New Japan become the new bad guys. I don't know. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, on to another story. Because fuck. I hate talking to guy. I hate talking about those assholes. I just speak Japanese and I don't understand they Japanese. Kind time. Kind time. That's what I said. That's right. Fuck the robot. So, uh, Finn Balor, I think people have been asking him, the time we saw the demon was at SummerSlam last year. Right. They're asking him, is he going to, is the demon going to show up this SummerSlam? Right. I, I think I saw something about this. He said, you know, the demon only comes out in certain special situations, and I don't think my match at SummerSlam against Bray Wyatt calls for it necessarily. I think I'm perfectly capable of handing that on my own as Finn Balor. Huh. I think that's kind of cool they are separating the things. Right. Yeah, you know he got a comic book? What? Yeah. I, I, it's probably a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Fuck, yeah, it is. But it's uh, sure. how he tames the Demon King, I think. And the art looks pretty fucking sweet. Yeah, that sounds pretty incredible. So, and speaking of SummerSlam, right now we're going to give our SummerSlam predictions, at least the matches that are currently on the card. Uh... Well, before we do that, because th that's kind of how I think we should end the episode, too. Yeah. Um, I just want to point out that um, the not the latest, one of the newer episodes of Being the Elite yeah. is well worth the watch. Is it the Q&A? Not the Q&A. Q&A just went up today. Yeah, I think it's the one right before that, when they're in Quebec. It's when they're in Quebec... And I guess uh, WWE must have been doing a show there, and they're talking about their friends and how it's just go oh, watch. Oh, the one it. you shared with me. Yeah, but that was just oh, the okay. that was just the clips. Oh, it's a clip from the longer episode. Yeah, there was a, okay. There's a whole episode there. I don't think I watched it with audio either. Oh, it's. it's I think I was at work. Uh, it's well worth watching the whole thing. But that was super funny. You know, they're up to what, like episode seventy something. I don't know. It's a lot. You know what? I just figured out how to mass download videos from YouTube because I can't be on YouTube at work. Oh, yeah? I should probably do it with their show. Yeah, do it. How long are they? I don't know, like, a couple minutes to, like... I will say hours. some of the first episodes are garbage. Are they? Yes. I don't think... I haven't gone back and watched them all or anything, but... It like, looks like they have learned and gotten better at Premiere and stuff. But I love how they're terrible videos. They are ter they're bad videos. I don't think they are anymore. No, they are. I think they're pretty standard vlogs. No, uh, they're still, like, they still have their elements of bad video. Well, yeah, because that's on, not their thing. It's on purpose. But they have clearly gotten better. Yeah, yeah. Which I super appreciate, because if you look at my channel, I fucking started terrible, and now my videos are all HD and good quality and shit. Right. But yeah, I mean, they still have, and there's a lot of ongoing jokes and stuff. It's, being the elite is well worth a watch. It's so funny. I need to catch up before they get into, like, episode 200. Yeah. Because those guys are just genuinely funny. Oh, they are. But any time I see, like, Kenny Omega on one, or almost all of them. But Did you see um, um, Finn tweeting them? Finn asked them, uh, he said, I, you know, I'm teaming up with some friends of yours. It was Jeff and Matt Hardy. Oh, nice. Uh, I miss you guys. Do you miss all of us? And I think they basically sent a picture of, like, doing the Hardy thing and t-shirts. Like, I think that's, they said, like, we miss you or something. That's awesome. That, oh, my God. I, you know what? Oh, so that's something else. Uh, Finn Balor and the Hardys are Balor Club. I would love that. That'd be cool. I think the Balor Club thing just needs to happen. 
I get it that it's his fans. That's who the Balor Club are. Yeah. I think they could make that a faction. Oh, they need to. Or they could just make it the... He could just join the club. And it'd be the club, which would probably work better. Either way would be okay. Because Balor Club makes it sound like they're all Balors or something. Uh, The club is better, I feel like. I don't like the club because it's kind of... It's way too generic. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, since we're talking about the club... Um... I shared something on my Facebook page, and I don't think a lot of people understand what the Bullet Club is. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, it's Bobby Hill doing the two sweet. People love King of the Hill. But it's like, it says when you see someone else wearing a Bullet Club shirt, and Bobby Hill is throwing up the two sweet, and just so many people. Hit. What do you suppose that's from, though? What? I, or, well, that's also University of Texas, right? Isn't it? Isn't it the bull? Yeah, I think it is. That's what I thought it was. But, I watched a lot of Rooster Teeth. So they... But, like, the people... I don't know. I, I've gotten a lot of comments around when I wear it. Like, yeah. people tell me they like my shirt. It's and a it cool is, shirt. It is a badass shirt. But I'm just, like, 60-year-old guy from Old Home Assassin wearing your rubber boots and your... <laughs> I don't think you know who the Bullet Club is. Are you sure? Because I feel like Old Home Assassin is WWE's demographic. <laughs> oh, it is, definitely. It's like if you look at a map, it's just solid right there. Do you know what's going on in Tampa? No. This Either this weekend right now or next weekend. Right. Is um, either a house show or like a Raw or something like that. Right. And again, is the Monster Truck Rally. Okay. Dear God. Oh, what, the demographic? Yeah. Yeah, they must be dying. <laughs> Us damn fancy wrestling nerds. Hooey! <laughs> but you know it's funny you bring that up because uh, in the newest episode of Ballers, yeah. The Rock drives a monster truck. Nice. <laughs> and spoilers, he wrecks it. He's okay though. Ballers is fucking awesome, by the way. This well, this needs to be brought up. Okay. The, have you seen The Rock's arm? Tattoo? Yeah. Yeah, where he's like, the, the bull's going to evolve. Motherfucker, it ultra evolved. Yeah. Like, that's you a mega could not evolution. have taken a bigger step. That's a, yeah, that was... Go on The Rock's Instagram if you haven't seen it. Yeah, It's that incredible. Was cool. I was not too happy. I was like, really? He's gonna cover up that tattoo? I was a little sad. All things? And then I saw the, the finished process, and I was like, good. Yeah, it was... Fucking rad. Bad ass. So does that mean Kevin Owens has to get that now? Well, his wasn't the same exact one either. Isn't it? No, it was different. It's It was a more stylized bull. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's more troll looking. Exact Brahma bull. Uh, it's close. I think it's pretty close, but it's not the same. So uh, one- yeah, I guess, you know, you're right, it's not. Yeah. Is it looking to the side? Yeah. Uh, now the rocks is looking to the side. I should really retweet that picture of the rocks thing to Kevin and be like, so are you going to get a new tattoo of this? Yeah. So what's yours going to look like? Yeah. That's no one's surprised cool. if you did. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, that, that, that was pretty fucking cool. So anything else? You got any extra shit? I don't um, think I do. I didn't watch NXT this week. I have not watched wrestling. I'm sorry. Um... The G1 tournament. Did it happen? I believe Kenny Omega won. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know he beat Okada. Kenny Omega, Okada 3. I believe Finally Kenny... Finally beat him. Kenny came out on top. Holy shit. Who, yes. who won the second one? I think Okada's won each time. It was a draw. One of them. Oh, that's right. You're right. You're right. Because they hit their 60-minute time limit. Yeah, I don't remember who won the second one. The, the, second, the second one was the draw. Oh, okay. I think Okada won, then it was a draw, and now K1. won. Shit. So... Best out of three is still one to one. Yeah. God, they're so good. They're so good. God damn, I need to watch that match. So, we'll just jump right into SummerSlam predictions. Yeah, I Do think... Do you know I'm what the matches are? No. Okay, that's okay. Then you haven't had much time to think about it. You'll just be able to... Yes. I just looked up the card earlier, so not like I'm super familiar with it. Uh, I don't understand why this match is happening, but we'll have to figure it out. John Cena versus Baron Corbin. Which, Christ, I hope Corbin wins that. 
I don't know why that's happening. I don't know either. I don't know who I want to win. Do you care? No. Do you care about that match? I hope that's on the pre-show. Ha! <laughs> oh, <laughs> man! And not just on the pre-show, I hope that's the first match on the pre-show. It's the first match on this list. What if that's the main event? It can't be the main event. It's Cena. Yeah, but neither <laughs> one of them have a bout. I can't. If be. the internet were to be believed that Cena is a giant pile of piece of shit, right. he, it would be the main event. That's true. It could be on the pre-show. Cena could be like, please put me on the pre-show. I've never done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta do it. God so, damn, that would be funny. And they're like, well, then you want to fight Baron Corbin? He ain't doing anything. Yeah, pretty much. But I feel like Cena could put Corbin over. Yeah. Fucking Shitsuke beat him clean. That was pretty For the cool. number one contenders. Yeah. That's amazing. Like, it's pretty exciting. Thank you, WWE. Other than Shinsuke dropped him on his neck. Yeah, that's okay, though. Oh, my God. That was brutal. Gif after gif after gif. Yeah. I think Cena's a tough motherfucker. Yeah. And, and respectful. Then, and then Nakamura tried to apologize, and he said, no, nah, it's cool, dog, basically. I think Cena knows shit happens. Yeah, oh, of course. Cena's done stuff like that before himself, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure he's dropped something. I think you him. have to. Yeah. If you've had as many matches as Cena... You have to have screwed up. Yeah, you're going to drop someone on their head. No one's permanently injured, it seems like, so everything's fine. Yeah? No one but uh, Dynamite Kid. Uh -oh. oh, another weird wrestling story. Sorry to get off the SummerSlam predictions. Uh, Magnum TA uh, went to Disney, and I guess he has a special segue because you know, he's like paralyzed. And uh, they said no... Because you have to use a Disney scooter, but he can't control the he can't control things with his right hand. I think he has to have left-handed scooters. They didn't have any, so huh. they turned him away. Really? Yup. <laughs> That's really fucked up. That's fucked up. Weird. Yeah. Um, I feel like he's not the type of guy to be like, "Do you know who I am?" Yeah. Until like the end of that scenario, yeah. just be like, "Do you know who I, my daughter's about to be on the May Young Classic?" Oh, yeah. wait, your stepdaughter? I think a stepdaughter or something. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like, really, Disney? That can't be the first time that's happened. I like, mean... That's not common, but I'm sure other... Many people that go to Disney, I'm sure that's happened. Yeah, that's weird, though. I guess they could have pushed them in a wheelchair, maybe. But who the hell wants to push someone in a wheelchair at Disney all day? Uh, <laughs> well, I guess... As I was saying that, I was like, oh, wait, us. Because <laughs> <laughs> we did that with Jess. Yeah, that wasn't cool. Yeah, as the words were coming out of my mouth, I was like, oh, wait. Well, we had a wheelchair and a stroller, right? Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. And then all the shit we bought. Yeah. So. Just a heads up, guys. If you go to a theme park with a child. That's a lot of walking. And they're in a stroller, they usually don't ask their age. Oh, yeah. Regardless of how well they can walk and talk and function. Isn't that how we got to the front of a lot of a lot? No, we got to the front of a lot of lines with the wheelchair. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. I, You know, my ankle's fucked. I probably need a wheelchair when we go, so we could just put me in a wheelchair. Someone's got to push my fat ass, though. There's a lot of people that do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not go there. there are okay. Lot of, uh, <laughs> I'm not talking... Uh, there's, just, I'm, there's just people... No, nope. no, nope, it's other people as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. And I mean, I don't know. I, if I had to go, like, if I had a plan, and like, I I have gout, so sure, is arthritis. It usually affects my ankles, which, luckily, I don't have to deal. With. It, usually, it's not a thing that's com it's not super common, but it happens every once in a while. It's extremely fucking painful. Right. You know what? I don't think I'd go. I still don't think I'd go. <laughs> I was going to say I'd get a wheelchair, but no. Yeah, I, I If it's hate bad enough idea. for me to be in a wheelchair, I don't think I'm going. My ankle's been real fucked and it hurt a lot, and I still, like, walked around Walmart, and I yeah. got one of them stupid things. Yeah, Just because yeah, I, I always shoes. feel like someone else can't walk and needs right. it. I right. can walk. Yeah, I'm, I'm never, I would never use it. So, those. pro wrestling. Yeah. Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. This match is going to be sick. Oh, Finn to win. F yeah, Finn to win. Yeah. Finn to win. Finn's but Finn to win. Bray winning is interesting. 
Yeah, oh yeah, don't, don't get me wrong. Bray oh. and Finn starting a uh, faction. Bray controlling the demon. I would like to go back and see some of what's led up to this. I haven't seen a lot of it. I don't think there's a lot. I think it's just Bray fucking with Finn. Like, that's, doing weird head games and stuff. That's sad. It's your standard weird fucking we don't know what to do with Bray Wyatt build up. And that's sad, because the amount of stuff that can be done between those two... Yeah! It's ridiculous. Just weird stuff. We had weird stuff with Orton and Wyatt. Why can't yeah. we have weird stuff with Balor and Wyatt? We have weirder stuff. We can get uncomfortable with these two. Yeah. And I like when people get uncomfortable. And just scary and creepy. And October's coming up. Yeah. There's, like, no excuse not to do this. I want Finn to win. But yeah. Bray is very... I hope this is a great match. Yeah. It should be. Both these guys are incredible. I think it will be. Oh, wait. Who do you got for Cena versus Corbin? Uh, Cena, I guess. Yeah? Just because Big Match Cena? Yeah. He's putting guys over, so and, I'm going to go Corbin. I don't like Corbin. I should record these. Yeah, you really don't like Corbin. Not a fan. He's missing something. He's good, though. He's okay. He suffices. <laughs> sure. And when he... He's kind of... He, <laughs> I just realized this, too. He, he walks a lot with his shoulders. Okay. Which is... Uh, it's not a very masculine quality. Um... I forgot where I learned that. It's but, not a mat. Oh. To, okay, I guess I see that. Yeah, to walk a lot with... And a lot of people do it to seem larger, to be more intimidating. But it actually doesn't come off that way. Okay. Um, Is this one of your blog things you are telling me about? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Um, actually, I think I learned this in uh, some animation stuff. Of huh. watching. Um, like, if you draw someone who walks with their shoulders more it's more feminine but a lot of people I see, I've i noticed a lot of people will do that trying to appear you know more tough than they are for some reason yeah. they think it's more intimidating oh yeah I know plenty of people like that yeah and it's it's not it's it's more intimidating to walk you know more straight more upright okay uh, I think he <sighs> And I just realized that, too. Because I was just thinking about his entrance and how just... There's something he's missing. And it's little. It's something small. Oh, definitely. He's... I mean, he's over. People love him. But from what I can see, he's, he's not the total package that he could be. I agree. Well, he's getting there. And uh, with this whole uh, Money in the Bank thing, it might take him over that. I'm hoping I, it will, at least. I hope so. Um, yeah, and I know that was the weirdest thing for me to come up with. I also, I know he needs some mic work. He's way too monotone, I feel like. There's that. Um, and he's... He needs something that The Undertaker and Kane and, like... Finn Balor? Uh, like, big guys. Cause oh, he's big still, guys. He's big. Okay. Yeah, and his finisher and deep six are awesome. Does does he step over the top rope when he gets out? I don't know. If not, he should. Yeah. If he can. He should be able to. Because he's... Oh, maybe not. I'm, also, I'm not sure how tall he really is. I know he's tall. I feel like he's, he's as tall as I am. He's taller than you. Is he? Oh, yeah. Okay. I've got my picture. Maybe I'm wrong with it about he's that. He's tall. I remember when I was a kid, when, like, a lot of wrestlers are, like, six foot tall or so. Right. I remember as a kid being, like, not as a kid, but, like, in a high schooler, being like, that's not that tall. I'm that tall. It was right. like, most people are not that tall. Right. Like, yeah, that is pretty big. They build people taller than they are or shorter than right. they are. However they need to be built. I just saw that recently on something. Somebody was like, uh, what are you, how much you weigh? He's like, well, build as this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um... Like, 205 Live. Like, you know some of those guys are more than 205. Yeah. 
Yeah, probably. But yeah, yeah I don't know. Because I don't really think so. Maybe like old cruiserweight weight was like two twenty. Maybe maybe like uh, some of the submission guys, uh, like the no fly zone guy. Drew Gulak. Yeah, maybe him. Yeah, like he he might be closer to like two fifteen. But again, that's like who fucking cares? Exactly. Their yeah. characters are two hundred five. Exactly. And they need to look smaller, but they don't need to actually be exactly that. Because when all that stuff happened, they were like, "Oh, they're gonna weigh him in every week." And like, no, I don't don't do that. Right. That's stupid. Like they yeah. want to make everything like MMA, but. They don't need to make everything like that. Now, it'd be interesting if they did it for, like, one person. Because if someone was like, no way, this guy's 205. And they weigh him in, and he's doing things to make himself 205. Right. Like, I, I can't think of anything. But, but, like, if it became, like, a... Just, like, a little work that they do. Yeah. Like, it could be entertaining. It could be funny, actually. Yeah. But, which, uh, they talked about this on a, uh, I think a WC, or What Culture show recently. Uh, they need to move over, like, Kalisto and Enzo More. Yeah. Which, I think we've, we've talked plenty about Enzo oh, yeah. going to 205 Live. He just has to drop that one pound to 206. Yeah, that's right. In the ring with a real heavyweight. Speaking of Enzo More, do you know the match that he's gonna be in? Yeah. No, he's not. Uh, he, well, he's kind of going to be in. I think you told me. I don't know. Big Show versus Big Cass with Enzo More above the ring in a shark cage. I don't know if they're fighting for his love or just... Or... Who know. just did this? Someone just did this. Was this it... just fucking happened in NXT not that long ago. Was it NXT? I it thought... was uh, the, the fucking the snore fest. Uh, AOP? Yeah, it was AOP versus, I think, DIY? And their manager was up in the cage. Really? Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, it was it was a purely okay match. And I, th- I think, I think he, the manager dropped, like, a chain to AOP and they uh, knocked somebody out. Didn't uh, Jericho and Owens do this? Yes! Yeah. Like, Shit, who was it, though? I think Jericho was up in the cage. Yeah. Yeah, I, I keep seeing memes about, like, Vince with the shark cage being like, I bought it, I gotta use it. Yeah, like... There's also a toy set. And I think there's a SummerSlam toy set with the cage. That's right. There is a SummerSlam, at least, ring that co- that's coming out. Yeah. With an exclusive Finn Balor figure in it. Right. So they probably should have made the Finn Balor match a cage thing then. Well... Like also, I do know there's a Finn Balor SummerSlam figure elite that's coming out. Right. Oh. I need that. It's him from last year's SummerSlam. Oh, okay. I was going to say, is paint. it a demon or we do know? Huh. Yeah. It's that's the, cool. The white and the green and the black. And you, the one you have is pretty cool. Texas one, right? I have the Texas one for NXT oh, and right. I have the Beast from the East with the yeah. like, Chinese dragon on the back. Which is in the box, right? No, I took him out. Took it out, okay. But he was backwards in the box, so you yeah. didn't see the back, which I thought was cool. But I, I'm not keeping any wrestling figures meant on car. They're except, all coming except out. Except that Jericho one. Yeah, if I got that, that's in the box. Yeah, because that, that box is pretty awesome. Um, I do have a Van Damme in the box, so I need to get it signed. I fucked up again. Who do you got for Balor versus Wyatt? Finn Balor. Okay. Who do you got for Cass versus Show, or do you not give a fuck? Show. I want show as well. Yeah. Just because I don't like Cass at all. Yeah, without Enzo. Yeah, he's just boring. He's not great on the mic. I guess Enzo's got legitimate heat because he's like that in real life. I keep seeing that, but I wonder how legit that is. I think it's happening too much for it to not be real. It could be. Oh, and they talked about it on uh, the show with uh, Corey and JBL and Peter Rosenberg. Um, I mean, it could just be WWE trying to keep themselves in the news. Yeah. Could be... I feel like at this point, make it a fucking storyline. Yeah. I have Enzo go heel. Be like, fuck you guys. You know, if nobody wants to deal with me backstage, fuck all of you. 
Yeah. Including Big Show. I haven't turned on Big Show. Yeah. Like, send, send them to 205. Or, what I think they should do, like, oh yeah, you want to you wanna fuck with me? You know, I don't care. Why don't you fuck with my bodyguard? And have, bring in a big guy, to, and he just he just needs to be a manager. Right. I don't, don't hate Enzo in the ring as much as some people. But he's not great. No, he's not great. And he's better as a weapon. <laughs> right. With Cass throwing him and shit. Uh, you know, I want to see Cass and Corbin as a tag team. And Do you? just get them the fuck out. <laughs> just to give them something to do? Just put them together and just so we can make a new hashtag. Fuck whatever their team name is. That's going to be the hashtag? Like, fuck the revival. But yeah. Fuck those guys. Whatever their name is. Fuck, fuck, fuck the, uh, fuck, uh, fuck the, uh, slow talkers. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, slow talkers. God, uh, those two together. I would just, not, not, uh. I'd be done. I'd be done. Oh, uh, what does Enzo always say? Skywalker something talker. I don't know. But they'd be like the Skywalker slow talkers. <laughs> Hashtag slow talkers. Oh, speaking of Skywalkers, you get off topic again. Um, I was driving down uh, one of these is it, roads. Is this better for KP Kaiju? Um, sort of. Oh, uh, what were we talking about? We just got interrupted by the Jess. We have. <laughs> Who, will the the K- Who will be on the podcast? Probably. For sure. I, I would say for sure. Yeah. I don't know how we're, we would do that certain episodes of the podcast without her. Um, I think we were just talking about Enzo. Yeah. Well, let's go to the next match. Yeah, because fuck this match we were, we were off on a tangent. I have another yeah. tangent, but we're, I think we'll skip it. That's going to be the low point, I think, of SummerSlam. That match? Yeah. Yeah. It would have to be. Um, the next match, and I, I say this not knowing, liking these guys, it's the Usos versus the New Day. Fucking love the New Day. Usos, I'm over. Haven't we seen this a hundred times? Yeah. Yeah, we really have. Just like, uh, not a lot of these matches, but... Guys, stop. Yeah, stop, we please. We don't want to see the same matches over and over. As long as the New Day win, this, this will be a good match. It's all because of the. It's all because of the network. I, can I put you for the new day? Yeah. Okay. Unless the Usos come back as like tribal Usos, then yeah. the new day, which is not gonna happen. So. No. Even then, they that got boring. I still like the Usos. Are they're good? Yeah. They're just. They're like Rocky Maivia, and they need to become the Rock. Right. But I, I do really. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that was. Decent. Um, Bow. The <laughs> half bow. I'm sitting, so. You're halfway there. Living on Halfway <laughs> Thank If you. Brooks was here. Oh, God. Oh, man, Maybe Brooks. Full he's, on Bon Jovi. He's singing. He's singing right now. Are you singing, he, Brooks? He's singing. Tom is long. I hear him. I can hear him right now. He's, I think he's still in Orlando. I can still hear him. He is. No, he's, he's probably not in Orlando. I don't know where the fuck he is. Yeah, he died. We messaged him like 20 times. Where you at, Brooks? I know where everybody else is at. I really hope he listens to this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> now that he's on him, I don't know if he listens. I think he does. I think we... We're both going to get a message like, fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Um, oh, what were we just saying? <laughs> just the Usos. Halfway yeah. there. Oh, yeah, cause I'm really into, like, Maori culture. Like, yeah. Like, Polynesian culture. Yeah, it's like super it's interesting good. shit yeah. that they could use. And they've decided not to. Right. Yeah, they're like, we're going to Americanize ourselves as much as we can. We're crime time. Talk but about cultural not, appropriation. Not, that's funny. Wrestling is the most racist thing in the world. Yeah. And it it just, really is. It is. It's. I mean, look at the demographic. <laughs> yeah, there's that. But on the assassin. And like, nobody likes Russians, so Russians are bad. Bulgarians, specifically. I guess. <laughs> Samoans, Europeans. Samoans have hard heads. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just... M- Mexican people Mexican more lie cheat and steal. White people are dead. <laughs> <laughs> or rich. You're or, or rich. Just damn those stereotypes. Jeez, we just covered every single wrestling character. We sure did. Damn. All right. <laughs> so, next match, we've seen a million times. Kind of okay with it. It's going to be AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens. Shane McMahon, special re- guest referee. Really? So that does add something interesting. A little bit. Um, But like Kevin Owens said on the show after... Talking last, Smack? Yeah, the Talking Smack after the last pay-per-view. Right. Why? Why, why does he have to face AJ Styles again? Yeah. Um, they, they did a promo on SmackDown that was pretty interesting because both the guys were upset about Shane being special guest referee. Which is interesting. Usually it's one guy. Right. Um, but AJ basically said, you know, Shane knows what's going to happen if he fucks with me. He just remembers WrestleMania. Right. Uh, yeah, I was like, well, oh, damn. Yeah. So. But I, then they, like, made up. And, like, they're, like, Oh, yeah, they're, they're definitely, I think that's why Kevin's upset. Because right. they're, they're, they're frenemies. Styles and Shane. I'm not saying that word. <laughs> Good description. Uneasy allies. Okay, we'll go with uneasy allies. Yeah, frenemies. I'm not uh, saying that <laughs> word. Because I'm a 30 year old male. <laughs> so I'm Basically, not saying that word. I'm not 30 yet, so I guess I can continue oh, to yeah, use that ahead. word. Um, anytime I can hear Shane McMahon's music, you get I'm to happy. use the millennial words. I don't get to use those. Okay. <laughs> anytime I get to hear Shane McMahon's entrance music, I'm happy, so I'm cool with this. Oh, yeah. I. Great, yeah, change it up. It's, it's going to be a great wrestling match with, what's he going to do? You're just going to be watching Shane the whole time. And Jay, oh, that Shane was a cool just going to be hopping Shane around. Doing? Yeah. Do his little hoppy that would be arm great. swinging. It's the whole fucking thing, the whole time. The whole, the people can't see me when I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, but they know, they know what you're doing. Yeah, they do. It's and he's just great. hopping around, crip walking or whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know. Is that what it's called? I guess. McMahon walking. McMahon walking. McCrip walking. <laughs> Sounds like something. Uh, something that you can get at McDonald's. Yep. It's a secret menu item. I want Owens to win this. Of course. Yeah. You do too? He's my face of America. Yeah. I At this point, I would feel better of our face of America being from Quebec than being from Gainesville, Georgia. Which always sure. gets my hopes up. Gainesville and then Georgia. Because we have a right. Gainesville, Florida. And it's a pretty big city. Yeah, it's like less than an hour away from us. Yeah, and like Gainesville, <gasps> Georgia, what? Yeah. And like, I've never heard of Gainesville, Georgia. And Georgia is so close to Florida. It's like, ah, it's so close. Somebody in the next season from Gainesville. They're built as from Gainesville. I can't remember who. Lana. Lana's from Gainesville. She's not built as from Gainesville. No. But because of her fake ass Russian accent. Yeah. But she's fucking from Gainesville. There's somebody who needs to be repackaged. With yeah. a new name and everything. As not a Russian? As yeah. not a wrestler. <laughs> yeah, not a wrestler <laughs> That's what I too. thought you were going to say. That you too. You said not a Russian. Yeah, not a Russian. You said not a Russian. Ru- yeah, that's what Russian. Oh, no, that's not where he went. Never. She's just... She's a great manager. She's gorgeous. Yeah, but not everyone needs to be a wrestler. Yeah, yeah. And so... And Honor. Make some people managers. Bring them back, yeah. <laughs> they fuck. They made goddamn Titus O'Neil a manager. Yeah, I don't. And he's pretty good. Yeah, from what I've seen, he's great. He's got a great character. He's pretty good in the ring. The Titus, he made that asshole a manager. The Titus brand thing. Yeah, which I like. I'm, yeah. I'm totally okay with it. Does that bring us into our next match? Yes. Good job. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, the next match, which I've already marked myself as Neville winning, is Neville versus Tozawa. I love Tozawa. He needs something. He's another guy who needs something. And I hope the Titus O'Neil thing could help. Yep. Because he's part of the O'Neill brand or whatever. I don't think willing me, though. Huh? I don't think it's willing. Oh. I, don't, I think that's kind of part of the story. <laughs> that's funny. And Titus just shows up and yells at him. <laughs> hey, it works. But no, I definitely have Neville. Because no one else is on the Neville level. Yes, just true. 
King Neville is just god damn he's so good Juicy um uh, what's Juicy? that's <laughs> what so, like you said what? no you're like Juicy uh, like, uh I don't know what's Juicy cause it's like 3am my words are slurry yeah um something Wendy's posted something on Twitter Probably something juicy. Okay. And it, it was a wrestling thing. And it was like a... It's like a, a smart thing to say. Okay. And then uh, Austin Aries tweeted at them something like... Um, I wonder if I can get a job working at Wendy's and uh, talking smart with them or something. And uh, Wendy's tweeted back... Uh, well, we are currently hiring anyone on the Neville level, so if you think you you are up to the challenge, you can apply here. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, pretty when good. Was this? Austin Aries is getting called out by Wendy's. Damn, Wendy's! But Wendy's is brutal on their fucking social media. I found it. It's from August fourth. Okay. Uh. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I forgot what the first thing Wendy said. Someone asked Wendy's. Bobby said, wait. Uh, someone said, what are your thoughts on the revival? Oh, yeah. Uh, they said, we're not allowed to use that hashtag. Right. <laughs> they said, this is how you use social media. Uh, Austin said, Sing is need a new gig. Maybe I'll get a job at Wendy's so I can smartly talk about current events and serve... Real Ellsworth Frost. Uh, and they said, we are currently hiring people on the Neville level. If this applies to you, wendys.com slash careers. <laughs> Burn! Someone said, Wendy's won't hire Austin Aries after they saw what you did to him. Oh, Neville, Wendy's won't hire Austin Aries. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, Aries deleted it. This is an update. Oh, damn. Come on, Aries man. stated on Twitter that Wendy's actually deleted their tweet to him after he called them out for their harmful food. The well-known vegan states that upon accusing Wendy's of peddling cancer-causing food, they're deleting their tweet. Lame. Man, hey, come on, Austin. Jeez. It's a goddamn joke. And this comes from theinquisitor.com. Thank you for that, guys. Um, so yeah, you got Neville? Oh, definitely. God, that's gonna be a good match. Fuck, I'm excited for that. That's going to be on the goddamn pre-show, too. Yeah, that's another match we've seen. I don't even watch yeah, 205 like before, though. a lot. Oh, yeah, it could have happened on there. Yeah, it's happened on there at, at least a handful. Of they need some new people on they 205 do. Live. They do, and they can easily get them. Yeah. Yeah. It's Bill and it's 205. You're right, and they, they have at least two in their roster, Enzo and, uh, and uh, Kalisto. Yeah. I feel like they could also bring up um, uh, the techno guys that we used to like. Uh, we used to like. The Australian... Oh, Buddy Murphy? Buddy Murphy and Blake... Wesley Blake? Blake. Wesley Blake, yeah. Yeah. You could build them as 205. Yeah, because they are a little short. Yeah. So, yeah. You could totally... Like, there's got to be guys in NXT they can call up ready to do that. And they... Weren't they on the main roster? No. They didn't make it there? No. Unfortunately. Huh. Not at okay. all. Uh, the next match we have is Alexa Bliss versus either... That's funny. Sasha Banks or Nia Jax. Why is that funny? Isn't, uh... We'll find out this week. What? We'll find out this week who it is. No, isn't, uh... Alexa Bliss and uh, Buddy Murphy, a thing. Yeah. And we were just talking about Buddy Oh, uh, yeah, fair enough. I should have made that. Another segue. Yeah. Segue, Greg way. Uh, Accent ways. Yes. Uh, so, I like either of these matches. Alexa versus Sasha is going to be awesome. Alexa right. versus Nia makes an interesting dynamic. Because Alexa is so tame. And they're best friends. Yeah. I don't know if they're best friends on like on Raw, but I follow her on Instagram, and they're like, it's the funniest thing to see. Yeah, like she's tiny. What? Um, she make a mess. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, 
They, they need to be a thing, though. They need to be a Shawn Michaels and Diesel. Yeah. It just makes sense. And it Nia's does. good. She could use a bit of a harder edge. Yeah. She, I think she's good. Hey, I, I think she's gorgeous. Um, I would like to see Alexa versus Sasha. Well, of course. And Nia being in Alexa's corner and... Or even this being a triple threat and Nia turning on Sasha. Not even turning on Sasha, but just helping Alexa win. Yeah, I could see that. That'd be cool. Because that's what needs to happen. Yeah. It needs to be, like, the goddess and her bodyguard. Yeah. I would even say the goddess and the destroyer, but Joe's got the destroyer thing. Something like that. Because then you could make merch and shit. Yeah. There you go, WWE. You're welcome. The goddess... And the hand of the goddess or something. Fist yeah, of the something goddess. like that. Yeah, that, I mean, that could be her gimmick, the fist the, of the goddess. The will of the goddess. And the fist sounds better. <laughs> That'd be pretty badass. Build as the fist of the goddess. Because then, then, Naya can wrestle for Alexa. Yeah. Do the whole, like, oh, I'm hurt. Right. <laughs> Naya, I guess I'll have to wrestle. <laughs> and that built Naya. Yeah, it puts so much heat on Alexa. Yeah. It's uh, just... See, it's just easy, simple booking. Shit writes itself. It does. And then you just let Alexa, who has the most incredible personality... I don't know if you've seen the stuff on Facebook and, and Instagram and stuff with Naya. So does Naya. She, yeah. She's yeah. awesome. Actually, I think she's been on uh, Total Divas, and she's really good. Oh, okay. She's she's got a sharp wit. She's really fucking good. But um, I got Alexa. Oh, me too. Okay. No one's gonna win this time again. Uh, the next match also might be a low point, but I hope not. The Naomi versus Natalia. So Natalia oh, won, no. like, a number one contenders match. Why? Yeah. I, I'm so oh. over Natalia as well. I used to be the biggest Natalia fan. And I'm just over it. So Can I hope Corbin cashes his <laughs> money in the bank in on this match? Yes. Alright, that's what I want. I want Corbin to come in and cash in his Money in the Bank match. Yeah, and Natalia wins, and he cashes in, and he's like, oh, I heard heart. So I just assumed. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. And then he still doesn't get the title, but that's all right. Or he does get the title and, and can't defend it, and they have to retire the belt. <laughs> or, or, uh, Santino Morella comes out of retirement. <laughs> Wasn't he a women's champion? I think so. Some dumb shit like that. And then Ellsworth, and I'm just going to stop. <laughs> Wasn't Dean Malenko women's champion or something? I think so. That's a shame. Should have brought that up. And wasn't a China European champion once? Yeah, but that's awesome. I yeah, think she's also an Intercontinental champion. Probably. She had a great career. Yeah. Rest in peace, China. We love you. Yeah. Uh, next match. Speaking of, I'm not going to say that. Uh, let's say speaking of China, Shinsuke Nakamura is not Chinese. No. <laughs> He's Japanese. Not. Yes. Uh, Nakamura, who won, who beat Cena clean for this chance, versus Jinder Mahal. That's exciting. Yeah. Uh, man, this is a match that's never happened. No. It's not in the main event. The main event's gonna be fucking nuts. But it is a semi main event. Okay. Um God, it's gonna be good. I, I really feel like this is gonna be gender shining or failing. Right. Cause he's been good so far. Uh but against Nakamura, that's a different opponent. Right. That this is gonna be super interesting to see what happens. This is going to be me with my, my knowing pro wrestling things 
knowing, you know, how matches work, I'm going to be wearing that hat during this match. Right. Because Nakamura, I think, I've, I've heard he speaks good English, but we haven't seen that on TV. Yeah. Versus Jinder Mahal, who's not a big match guy yet, I feel like. He hasn't been in that many main events. Versus Nakamura, who is like Mr. Fucking Main Event in Japan. Really, I hate it. And, uh... <laughs> just ignore you. Shinsuke is like... He's on a whole nother level from gender, I feel like. But so is Randy Orton. Oh, yeah, 100%. I don't... Um, I... I'm giving it to gender. I'm afraid he's gonna keep it. But I, I think it's the most interesting thing. No. For gender to meet... To beat Shinsuke Nakamura, who beat John Cena? See, that's... I think it's more interesting for Shinsuke? Nakamura to win. Yeah, just because it's Nakamura? <laughs> no, not just because it's Nakamura. Um, we were just talking about how like, racist and stereotypical yeah. Yeah. wrestling is. But for you know, Nakamura, who speaks broken English in air quotes... And uh, is Japanese to beat Jinder Mahal, mm -hmm. who is the Indian from guy, Canada. I mean India, uh, who is, you know, pushing that he's Indian. Yeah, um, would be awfully progressive. Yeah, like either way, it's progressive though. Sort of. You could, Jinder has the the belt. Like, Here's the thing, though. This is something I noticed sweet, today. Too sweet. Okay. That's right. And, sure. Here's the thing, though. Now I'm just doing Finn Balor's fucking point. Here's the thing, though. That's offensive in some countries. <laughs> oh, the single, single. Yeah, yeah. That's why you're not allowed to do that if you're a Disney cast member. So I'm just gonna point with my yeah. middle finger because it's neutral. It's right in the middle. Yeah, that's how I do it. Here's the thing, though. Time. This is only funny to us. <laughs> no one else can see it. Um. And it's probably not three in the morning for anybody else either. So. Jap uh, Japan's getting ready to go to WWE. WWE's getting ready to go to Japan. So, makes sense for Nakamura to be champion. Yeah, if you're thinking about, you know, the Indian takeover. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, keep the honkies out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I mean, seriously. If you think about it. Uh -huh. Um... Honkies is a weird word. Heavyweight, heavyweight title, right? Yeah. You know, first Indian uh, to win. Um, you know, what are some other nationalities that have held the title? German? Russian? White? I don't know. White? <laughs> White? Jesus. Well, uh, and I'm just saying, because we know, we know that's what wrestling is. We know wrestling has... They, they do the stereotypes because it's just... That's, that's a topic for another show. Because it's easy. And I feel like it would be good to have Brooks on. Just to get that perspective. Of why there's what not as many... What perspective is that? The African-American perspective. <laughs> okay. You fucker. <laughs> because there aren't a lot of African-American guys who make it to that level. Um, there's uh, uh, Farouk. Um, oh my god, his real name? Ron Simmons. Yeah. Um... He was a champion. The Rock, who's half black. Uh, Booker T, obviously. Yeah. Probably, he's probably the most prominent one. Yeah. There's not a lot. No, what? there's not a whole lot of diversity in, 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 you know, the title history. And right now... It's a lot of diversity. Well, not only that, but right now in this, you know, PC culture, yeah. you know, the diversity thing... Seems to not affect me very much. No, because they're going to stick with the stereotypes because it's easy. Because of the demographic. And the demographic. But, and it's easy, you know? We do have the street profits now. That's true. I, I, that's Breaking I all stereotypes. I want to watch that NXT episode. God, those guys are awesome. Start I'm dead serious about that. I love the Street Profits. I like them. Uh, What's-his-face needs to stop with that fucking 
Stir the pot. He's stirring yeah. the pot. No, we need to stop. Stop no, it. No, just... I keep I, telling you on these podcasts, stop it. And I, but I keep telling him to keep doing it. What's the thing? Huh? What's the thing? Antoine Dodson? No! He's the other guy. What's the guy? The, the red shoe guy? Red shoes is a referee. <laughs> I'm not talking about the Japanese referee red shoes. The no, guy with the red cup and the red shoes. Antoine and... And... We hadn't seen him before. Angela Dawkins. Was that... You said Antoine Dotson. Didn't you? I did. That's what yeah. I was talking about. No, it is Angela Dawkins and Montez Ford. Okay. I meant the first one. Yeah, well, who's Antoine Dawkins? I don't know. <laughs> Isn't he a wrestler? I think he's the guy I went to school with. Yeah. I don't know. I'm. It's 3 o'clock. I'm Angela getting... Dawkins and Montez Ford are the street pop. Okay. They're awesome. Are you going to look at Antoine Dawkins? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> what did I say? Antoine Dotkins. How do you spell it? I feel like that's an NXT wrestler. I don't know how you would spell that. Boy, am I going to have to edit this out? No, I'm not. It's not that bad. Just mixed up. I can't even spell Dawkins. God. Listeners, we're just... Oh, boy. Brian, you messed up. I messed up? Antonio Dawkins. Yeah, but who's that? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I know that name, that Antoine Dawkins. Antoine Dawkins. Yeah, ask your phone, there you go. Anything? Um, no. Basketball player? Maybe that's it. I don't know, or it could be that it's just 3 o'clock and yeah. I can't get names straight. Uh, so who, you got Nakamura for that? Yeah. Alright. So, uh, next match is going to be incredible. It's Samoa Joe versus Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns versus the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar for the WWE Champion, the Universal Championship. God, that's going to be fucking awesome. Why? What do you mean, why? Why, I, why is uh, Reigns and Strowman in there? I think their Amulus match was a pseudo number one contenders match. And uh, so, yeah, they just got into a big fight on Raw one day, and basically it just became a fatal four-way. Because it was like, Braun, I think, demanded a match, and Reigns was like, fuck you, I beat you. And Joe was like, fuck you, I beat you. And Brock was like, I'll beat all of you. You know, That's basically how it happened. You know, let me tell you a story. Okay, tell, tell us a story. Let me tell you a story about Tell us a story, Grandpa Brian. That's what I feel like right now. <laughs> um, when I was a child, I loved Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon, favorite channel. Uh, there's this cartoon on. Everyone's seen it. I loved it. Yeah, but where are you going with this? I was not allowed to watch Rugrats. Okay, why? I I loved Rugrats. Tommy Pickles was the man. Uh-huh. It was a funny show. To this day, I still like watching it. Okay. I was not allowed to watch Rugrats because my dad told me anytime they wanted something, they just cried like a little bitch and they got it. <laughs> So, okay. Is that a quote? Uh, yeah, it's a direct yeah, quote. Okay. Um, I don't know, probably. But, and I was also not allowed to watch wrestling. Now I see the correlation. Okay. If you want something in WWE, you whine like a little bitch. To this is get like it. a few episodes ago when you were whining about the women's division. Exactly. Now I see it. You know, they tell you when you get older and you see that your parents were right. Yeah. This is the first time it's ever happened. <laughs> one. For you. They, they've got one. You're they've like, got one on me. There it is. I thought it was because he thought wrestling was dumb. It's also because of that. It's also because they're whiny <laughs> bitches. Although I do remember one time where Flip, he was flipping through channels and he saw um, Stone Cold 
wheeling manure into Vincent McMahon's office. Right. And poured beer all over it. He didn't stop to wash that because that was fucking funny. Because everyone loves shit jokes. <laughs> but. I but, hope everyone loves my shit jokes. But besides okay. that, not a lot to watch wrestling. I don't know how to watch Rugrats. Damn, now like all you do is watch wrestling? Yeah. No, that's not true. All you do is watch whatever Jess wants to watch. Yeah. <laughs> but I did have a few years of my life where literally all I watched was wrestling. Yeah, because you go hardcore on hobbies. I do. Hardcore on hobbies. Hard, hardcore Hobby Holly. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like Hardcore Bob Holly. Oh, um, that's a fucking great name. Hardcore Bry Hobby. Nope, Hardcore Hobby Holly. That's what it is. Oh, that is changing my Twitter yeah. handle. <laughs> You know what else would be a great nickname for that name? What's Triple that? H. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are welcome to a very special episode. Oh yeah. <laughs> of Future Hills Podcast. We're not high. We're no. really not. We don't no. do that shit. No, not at all. Uh, I'm straight edge as fuck. Oh my. So. Yeah, but it is three oh four a.m. Yeah. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you listen to k Kaiju. Kind of yes. <laughs> That's gonna be worse. It's coming up. We're gonna record it next, so yeah. who knows what the fuck's gonna happen. It's fucking done with. Alright, um... Uh, I got Braun. I, I got Joe. I got Braun. I just wanna see Braun win. I think... I don't even know why. Reigns and... Maybe because it's 3 a.m. Reigns and Braun are gonna go fight. Yes, okay. Like, Okay. Braun's gonna throw a They're chair They're gonna kill each other. By the way, Braun throwing that office chair at Reigns, one of the funniest fucking things I've seen <laughs> in a long that. time. I'll find the gif. That is it's incredible. everywhere. It's just funny. Braun's over in the timekeeper section, and Reigns just comes running up. Braun's like, here, take a seat. I don't know if he actually said it, but if he didn't, he fucked up. And he just threw this office chair at him, and just hit him in the fucking head. Oh my god! Yeah. That probably didn't feel good. It was padded. Not much. It was like sell the bitches. <laughs> um, um, it's good. One but, thing to call out about SummerSlam are the callouts. Uh, the last UFC pay per view, John Jones called out Brock Lesnar. He's going to oh, be at SummerSlam apparently. And Chris Cyborg wants to have a match with. Uh, oh my god. God, I can't do this podcast so late again. Redhead. Fucking Irish, redhead woman. Wait, who wants to have a what? Chris Cyborg. It's a woman. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, I've heard of her. Uh, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Yes, thank you. Why? Cause they're both badasses. Oh, uh, I think what happened was, Chris Cyborg said like, if I win my match, if we both win our matches tonight, we should have a match at SummerSlam. Becky said, okay. I'm paraphrasing. Right. Becky said okay, and they both won their matches. So it was like, we on? Yeah, we're on. That would be fucking cool. If it was a wrestling match? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it has to be a wrestling okay. match. Okay. Um, you... Chris Cyborg, I think, wants to be a wrestler. And uh, I heard on the radio, and it could be wrong, mm-hmm. but Ronda Rousey signed the WWE? Supposedly, the four horsewomen are going to face the four horsewomen. At WrestleMania. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Talk about writing itself. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Did you say one of the four, four horsewomen were in the Mae Young Classic? Or something? No, I'm saying that wrong. I thought. No, well, I know Roderick Strong's wife is. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. So that's an easy end. Well, fuck, Ronald Rowley's an easy end. Yeah, yeah, I saw a well, picture. very involved in WWE. I saw a picture of her and uh, Triple H standing side by side, and the picture underneath was uh, Stephanie McMahon freaking out, being held back by security. <laughs> it was pretty good. So I think the John Jones thing is going to be supposedly Brock's going to fight at one of the UFC pay per views. I think that's been announced. Has while it? he's under contract with WWE, which I think is just fucking smart for everybody. I'm sure that was part of his contract. It may have been. But every time you say John Jones, I just want to say who? 
John, I think his nickname is Bones Jones. He's uh, a pretty That was a hip hop reference. <laughs> was it? Mike Jones. Who? Oh, Mike Jones. Jesus. So you, do you actually know who John Jones is? Um, John Bones Jones. I've heard of him. I feel like his nickname is Bones. I believe so. Maybe I'm just making that up because it sounds cool. If not, that's His what website is johnnybones.com, which is fucking awesome. Dwight Jones, according to... Yeah, John Bones Jones. I just saw it on Google. Yeah, if my middle name was Dwight, I'd be pretty pissed off when I'm knocking people out, too. He's pretty awesome. I've seen some of his fights. Is he older? Uh, he is... 30. So, no. I'm glad you said no. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, even, didn't even mean it like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be kind of interesting because John Jones is supposedly going to be there. Huh. Um, we'll see what's going hmm. on with this Chris Cyborg thing. But that That's going to be SummerSlam. I'm excited about SummerSlam. There's like, I don't give a fuck about cast and show. Um, I want the show to kick the crap out of Cass. I really do. Yeah. Um, other than that, that should be a good show. Naomi's going to put on a good match with Natalia. Because Naomi's awesome. We're going to get a SummerSlam entrance from Naomi. That's enough to be exciting about. Excited about. Pretty cool. But, at the same time, I'm not going to say I'm excited. We're also going to get NXT TakeOver Brooklyn the night before. I'm probably... A thousand, mind, a thousand times more excited for that. Yeah. But I don't even know what the card is. I don't know either. Oscar versus Ember Moon. Ooh. Yup. There's a reason to be excited right there. Probably going to be the better match than the Fatal 4 away from SummerSlam. Oh, and Jinder and Nakamura are going to tear the house down. Probably. And probably fit in very well. They might be pretty good. They're both going to be good cards. And then a few days after that... Are, I think, the semifinals and the finals for the fucking World Cup. Nice. Next week's going to be a great podcast. Wait, yeah. the week after. <laughs> yeah. Saturday and Sunday are NXT and SummerSlam, and then a few days after, yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be... Stay tuned. Tuned. So, that's been the Future Heels podcast. Let's see if I can do this outro at 3 a.m. I'm Jake Drill. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you know us by now. Uh, I'm Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter. You can find me on Twitter at Best of the Realm. You can find me on YouTube, Best of the Realm. Uh, Instagram, t- Facebook, Twitch, all the things. I'm Brian, Brian Man Peacock. On Twitter at Brian Man 25. Instagram, Brian Man 1138. On YouTube, Nerdy Brian Man. You gotta or, change your Twitter uh, handle, Dark Holly Holly. Dark Holly Holly. Holly. <laughs> Triple H! Um, or you can find me on the Few True Villains website. Hey, wake up. I should have clapped. I am... Clap. Clap, clap. Is that uh, edit that? <laughs> yeah, that's normally how I edit things. <laughs> uh, podcast on FewTrueVillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-S.com. Uh, you can find it on all pod services, iTunes... No, not all of them, because we're not on like Spotify and shit. Because yeah. apparently they're get on. Uh, not with Stitcher. Radio either. No, because we're not a radio station yet. We can, there are podcasts on there. Really? I thought iHeartRadio was just radio stations. No. I'll show hey, iHeartRadio, hit me up. And there's some, there's some not good content. On oh there. shit! So we could add our not good content. And I'm not saying who. <laughs> and I'm not even saying it's necessarily. There's junkie. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I love those guys. But they are a radio station. But no, there are podcasts That's right, on there. they are. And, um... Yeah, some of them are just not good. I gotta look into it. Yeah, because... Just keep listening to us. It's fine. Find yeah. us on Facebook, on Twitter, on all the things. Uh... Yeah, that's it. We're gonna go record Kayfabe Kaiju. Yeah. Well, I thought I said that wrong for a second. Let's stop. <laughs>